and opinions expressed on my story, Living with Lupus Podcast, represents each person's individual experience. By listening to this podcast or reading our blog, you agree not to use this podcast or blog as medical advice to treat any medical condition in either yourself or others. As always, consult your own physician for any medical issues that you may be having. My Story Living with Lucas podcast is officially trademarked, all rights reserved. She's a motivational speaker, she's an entrepreneur, and she's the creator of Right Side of 50. I'm talking about no one other than Sheila Smith. She's here to discuss life lessons. So you know what I want you to do? That's right. Grab your cup of coffee, your cup of tea, and if you're listening, late at night, you know I appreciate it. Grab your favorite glass of wine and join us right here on My Story Living with Lupus for Life Lessons with Sheila Smith. Motivational speaker, entrepreneur, and creator of Right Side of 50, Life Lessons with Sheila Smith. To book her for your next empowerment conference, contact her at rightside50 at gmail.com or call 404 447 Six eight nine seven. Hello, and welcome to Life Lessons with Sheila Smith, CEO and founder of Right Side of Fifty. I just want to wish everyone a happy new year. It's been a while since I've been on. Um, missed you all. Okay, um, we're just going to jump right into it this evening, and let's speak of gifts. What is your gift, and how are you using it? Better yet, why aren't you using it? When you think back on yourself as being young, and there were things you used to do, that you love doing, or you saw the vision of, I'm going to be a doctor when I grow up. I'm going to be an astronaut when I grow up. I'm going to be a teacher. I'm going to be a scientist. How many of us have really put those, I would say, dreams into play? How many of us are stepping out on faith and really doing what it is we love to do? Some of us have been so lucky to be blessed to have a gift, but we're sitting stagnant on it and we're not doing anything with it. See, life only comes around once, so you have to make the best of it while you're living, which means you have to put your gift to use. If your gift is speaking to people, then guess what? Speak. If your gift is teaching a class, then teach. If your gift is ministering, then minister. If your gift is out here planting a garden, because guess what? You plant that seed for what? For everything to grow and to reap your harvest. Then get out there and put your hands in the dirt and get to planting. Gifts are special, everybody. Don't sit back and let your gift go to waste because we don't want to fall into that wish I woulda, coulda, shoulda mindset. 
everyone needs to put their gift to work. Everyone needs to get out here and see what it is that they're missing or to see what it is that they really wanted to pursue in their life. It's not really a thing of pursuing. It is a gesture and probably not even a gesture, but it's a move. It's something is stepping out on faith. A gift is something that you've been blessed with. So why hold it and keep it to yourself? If you do that, then what good is it? Is it helping anybody? Is it helping you? Who said, who, who says that it's right to go day through day just working and not being happy? While you're helping someone else to pursue their gift and their dream. Is that what makes you happy? If you're in a position at work and there's no way or you foresee nothing where you're going to climb the ladder, is that putting your best foot forward? Is that using your gift? Think about that for a moment. My gift is assisting my sisters. My gift is being my sister's keeper. My gift is speaking. And I'm learning how to do that more and more each day. Is it something that I saw myself doing as a young child? No. I can remember back as far young as when, do you remember when we used to have to do the recitals in church? for Easter Sunday, or for the Christmas play. Well, I can remember mine, and it was Easter. And I knew, I knew my sketch. I knew what I had to say. But I got up in front of that crowd, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. But I can also say that I remember now that I told myself I'm going to leave that fear behind me and I'm going to step out and I'm going to speak strong but no one knew what that gift was with me in speaking I didn't know how I was going to be of leadership with my speaking I didn't know how I was going to help others with my speaking all I knew was that I was going to leave that fear of speaking in front of crowds behind. And I found my gift. I'm asking everybody to take that moment, take that time, and find yours. Reach back into that child of what we once were and see what your gift was or what your gift is. It's never too late to put it to use. It's never too late to pursue that dream it's just like having a bucket list and saying I'm going to go on vacation this summer and I'm going to go somewhere that nobody expected me to go so why can't you do the same thing with your gift why are we not putting our gifts to work because once you do that guess what you're opening the door for someone else to do it You're encouraging and empowering the younger generation behind you to use their gifts and to put them to work now. As I stated, we only get one chance at this lifetime, so make the best of it. Don't let it go by and you don't do the things that you really wanted to do, that you don't pursue the dreams that you wanted to pursue. Life is too short for us not to put our gifts to work. And it doesn't have to be a gift where it's a monetary gift and you're making money from it. Everybody seems to look at things nowadays with that factor on it. No, the happiness is from you being happy of fulfilling that dream that you always wanted to fulfill. So don't think of it as you have to be making something to make yourself happy. 
You have to do something to make yourself happy. Be- before you can make anyone else happy, you have to start with self. And if self means pursuing your dream and using your gift, then do so. Once again, this has been Sheila from the Right Side of 50, speaking on using your gift. I would like to once again give everyone a well-rounded Happy New Year. I hope everyone had a safe and blessed holiday. This is 2020. We are going to make this grand. We are going to do more things than we ever thought that we would. And we are going to live life to the fullest. Thank you for taking the time out to listen to me this evening. I look forward to speaking to you again next month. Once again, Right Side of 50 can be reached at www.rightsideof50.com or you can email me at rightside50 at gmail.com and just leave me some ideas of things that you would like to speak on because I do love and I appreciate the interaction. And I would love to know that my little talks, my conversations are doing something to help you guys out because that's what it's all about. Susan, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to come on once again. I look forward to this every month. I guess I can say I took the month of December off, but I am back and I'm in full swing. And it's onward and upward. Look forward to speaking to you all again next month. Be blessed. This is Sheila Smith from the Right Side of 50, and this has been Life Lessons. The views and opinions expressed on my story, Living with Lupus Podcast, represents each person's individual experience. By listening to this podcast or reading our blog, you agree not to use this podcast or blog as medical advice to treat any medical condition in either yourself or others. As always, consult your own physician for any medical issues that you may be having. My Story Living with Lupus podcast is officially trademarked, all rights reserved. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.